One of them talk about uh, Bitcoin. And uh, the guy named Li Xiaolai, which is uh, very, very famous in China, they do the speech to everyone. They say the Bitcoin will be the, uh, will be the, like a $10,000. And uh, nobody, nobody believe that. No one, no one buy that. The couple, at the beginning, just a couple people, I think, I think only 20 people, uh, just started to buy Bitcoin. And uh, in the 2030, uh, the Bitcoin price, without no reason, just uh, because of the little people buy it and uh, more and more people buy it, the, people, the Bitcoin price crack. It is crazy, you know. They choose $1,000. You know, the Lichale said it's $10,000. They go to $1,000. Everyone's crazy. At that time, no people, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a great caffeine kind of the incubator. Everyone to do different kind of job. But at that time, everyone to, you know, talk about owning Bitcoin. Everyone started to, the, to buy some Bitcoin. I think uh, Liu Xiaomi, the uh, one that uh, start, one startup doing the, uh, doing, I think, the, uh, the application. They do the APP at that time. But at that time, because everyone just started buy. So they started buying Bitcoin. You know, the Red Cafe is one of the it's one of the place to start. You know, the uh, a lot of the blockchain company. I started from there. Li Xiao Lai, both same, and uh, and a hobby exchange from there. OK Exchange, OK OKEX stuff there. Then the OKEX started become the Binance, right? The founder, CTO, the Zhao Changpeng, CZ, go to the finance. Um, and uh, not only this, as the Gate.io founder, the ZB the founder. Right now, if you see the, all the crypto uh, uh, from China, they all from the Grad Cafe. For example, the BCH, which is yeah, Grad Cafe, Chefu Cafe. The, it's a, like a BCH, like a Bitmap, Avalon. It, uh, Bitman is uh, right now the biggest uh, uh, mining company. Before that, b before Bitman, the Avalon founder go there. And uh, a lot of the big uh, uh, mining company from there. A lot of the mining pool, like F2 pool, the founder uh, uh, from there. The, the, so it's just a group of people like today. You know, like today, just a group of people, they want to do something different. So. Right now, if you see the, uh, the crypto, the uh, uh, coin market cap, all of the biggest uh, uh, crypto, uh, for example, let me introduce, let, let me say something like uh, Neo. You know, the founder, uh, uh, he's a, uh, the, the founder started everything at there. The Justin do the Chuan, started everything from there. Um, you know, the BCH, right? It's Bitcoin hot fork. And uh, BCD, Bitcoin diamond. And BTG, Bitcoin gold, right? Even the Bitcoin god from there. So every, it's just a small group of people together. They're a community. They, um, they learn from each other. That like day we share every our story to, to you, you know, about the, where, where Bitcoin started. Why is there become bigger and bigger? Today, it, Token Galaxy made everyone here today to, to start a dream here. The first time I hear, I think, well, I want to do something in the US like this. It's a place, all we have our blockchain com company, community, and uh, Bitcoin community come to the one place. And here, not very far uh, from the, you know, Facebook, from the uh, Palado, it's just a half hour. So I think here is a cheap place can afford, uh, everyone can afford that and a lot of blockchain companies can come here. Right now, right now, you know, it's, it's a lot of ICO, like, uh, uh, for example, Nebulous, it's one of the ICO from there. Uh, the, the founder is Xu Yiji. Uh, everyone come here uh, to do something, like media come here, a chain come here. And, uh, and, and everyone just uh, 
do so easy user easily, right? Because you, if for example you speech at here, reading money from here, um, the, on the this on the exchange at here, because a lot of exchange will be here. Um, so it's just started. Today we just announced that we want to do something different with something uh, a physical place like a grad cafe. Uh, everyone can do something ICO in here. It makes the China and the American the two biggest economic in the world together to do something different, right? So I um, and I think James uh, and the the and you. Is the founder of this place incubator? They helps us to uh, to make this dream come true. You know, and I think it just started. On, on the way to the here, I'm talking about uh, one friend asked me he want to do the exchange. Is that it? still have opportunity? I said, of oh, course. We focus on this on a 20 year, not just two year. Right? If the if you see. The next uh, 20 years, we still have a lot of chance if you do the ICO right now, if you do the exchange right now, if you do the you know uh, media for example right now, incubator today. So it's just everything just beginning, every start. I started from five years ago, when 2013. But at that time, we 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 always we we do nothing actually. We just the money, just to do the media, do the uh, exchange. But but it's boring, you know. It's not a lot for the user. In China, all the users like it's just million users. Today, in all around China today, only 10 million users. Think about it, think about it, you know, the, the new internet. So if, if, if this is a, a value internet, it will be the next uh, 20 years. Totally change the world, change the world, you know. Total revolution of the, of the world trade. So this seems, um, must, must be step like that. So today is much better because right now already have 10 million users, right? Who have token, who have different kind of token. But in the future will be the will be the million different token all around the world. Today in the world have how much? It have 100 million of the company, right? But only the only 10,000, 10, right? Only 10,000 in the world have the IPO. Think about it. what will be changed. In the future, will be every the IPO company have their own token, and every of the company without the IPO, they do their own the ICO and make their own token. And all the token is first day they come out of world is global and international, right? And they use, they, they don't using the USD USD or RMB the fiat currency to buy and sell. On the exchange, they're using the Ethereum and the US and the NEO and Bitcoin, BCH to buy and sell, right? This they have their own story, they have their own community. So I welcome you guys to the Token Galaxy, and I welcome to uh, not only today, tomorrow. I think the next 20 years, I think this building will be become something different, and. Uh, I hope this team can work in work group can can make the, this community growing and growing. More and more people coming here. After twenty years later, we guys get old. We get get old, you know. Our children get married. And that day you should give your daughter and your son a gift, you know, and one Bitcoin. So today, if you don't have one Bitcoin, you can you can buy it today. Just buy one Bitcoin. After 20 years later, you gave this one Bitcoin to your daughter, to your son. Okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got a few extra moments. Would you take some questions? Yeah. All right. I think okay. we uh, Do we have any questions for Chan? I think we have one right here. Hi, thank you for sharing your thoughts, Sikhi. Uh, the question I have is about the volatility, like when the merchants accept Bitcoin, right? As a currency, the coffee shop or wherever. The yeah. thing they're dealing with is that the price may change up, down, yeah. next minute or next day. Yeah. So is that the risk they're taking or they immediately convert it to cash at that time? They just accept it, they convert it to cash immediately, so there's no issue or risk for them. What is the more common? Oh, yeah. Do you know one story, the uh, piece, uh, most expensive the 
pizza in the world. One guy using 10,000 Bitcoin to buy one pizza. Yeah, it's a long time ago. It's same, me do the same stupid thing. I buy the, the, the Rolls Royce the, the, in one, one, 100 Bitcoin. Today, this 100 Bitcoin already, you know, very expensive. Uh, you know, the, for right now, a lot of people think Bitcoin for you is like a cash. Actually not. It, Bitcoin, for, for a five year history, I real, a step by step real life, Bitcoin is a, is a reserve. It's, a, it's neither, uh, it's storage value, you know. It's not for pay to buy something, buy some coffee. And uh, maybe, it may, maybe will be, in the future will be have the USD tether, for example, uh, or same like tether to, to buy something because it's stable coin. Will be more and more stable coin coming out because of the, right now the you know it's already four, four uh, different stable coin project will be coming soon. So uh, that's for buy and, uh, buy and sell, right? For pay something. Or payment, but Bitcoin for to, to reserve it's a reserve the value. So in the future, think about um, Bitcoin because of the Bitcoin every four years go to halving. The money reward will be halving every four years halving the Bitcoin price ten times, ten x. If you see the history, it never changes. Every four years, the ten times, ten x. And right now, the Bitcoin halving will be coming soon, next to two and a half year later. Already one and a half year already, then two and a half year later will be next halving. Next to halving Bitcoin price definitely go to one hundred thousand dollar. Yeah, and the next, if you see the, if it's, if you can see the future, next to five years, if you wait, next to five, next next seven and a half year later. The Bitcoin price will be the million. You, you, if you want to see that future, you just want. If Bitcoin has value, okay, just buy one. Is it enough? One Bitcoin is enough. That's why I'm talking about uh, everyone should buy one Bitcoin for your daughter, for a son. It's for the for the gate from from this generation to next generation. Think about it. If we die a you know, hundred years later, everyone here die. But Bitcoin cannot die. It's still there it's because it's a, just an open source ledger. There are open source let just code, you know. That's mathematics. They will be still out there. Yeah. So this is not for cash buying thing. It's for value for from this generation to next generation. What we keep growing, and that's in the future. So I think we have another question. Ted. I'm just just clarifying. So you said that. From a consumer side, they should just save it, not buy something from that. Uh, what about the merchant? When the merchant accept the Bitcoin, they accept and immediately convert to cash, or they take the risk of uh, the price going down tomorrow to five thousand, or going next day to ten thousand. Right? Today it's eight thousand, whatever. So, merchant point of view, what I'm asking practically, what is the merchant doing today? They are immediately converting to cash, or they are keeping the Bitcoin to take the risk. Yeah, as long as the company doing the like Bitpay. You know, Big Pay is one American company. They're raising all the money in the U.S. They're doing the uh, like this. Uh, they're helping the physical the coffee shop, for example, or supermarket, or Amazon using their uh, system. You pay Bitcoin. They they pay the they they pay actually you pay Bitcoin to the Big Pay and Big Pay Big Pay cash gives the cash to the Amazon. It's already no problem. It's a long time. It's already a lot of user. Uh, and the, in the future, will be a lot of companies do the different country do the same thing. Uh, it, but actually, the uh, Bitcoin. I'm not. I'm not suggest, suggest that everyone to using Bitcoin to buy something. Uh, it's still. It, it's very stupid because Bitcoin price going up. So everyone just hold a little bit for for stable value to the next generation. That's my uh, idea. Let me ask you a follow-up question on that because we see you're looking at Bitcoin as a store of value. Yeah. Makes sense. What about other alternate coins that are out there? We know there's uh, lots of them. What are particularly of interest to you? Okay. You know, the soft word, the eating the word, eating the word, you know. Soft word takes control of everything. Mm -hmm. Today it's the same. And in the future it's the same. Soft word already takes control of everything. 
eating the world, actually. Um, and blockchain, in the blockchain ecosystem, think about it. Blockchain system is a, like uh, eating the software, right? Because blockchain is, is a value of the internet. So blockchain will be eating the internet. And Bitcoin will be eating the blockchain. Do you know what? Do you know why? Because Bitcoin is a, it's like the, all of the, this digital currency ecosystem, the, the value like gold. So when the market is growing up, everyone just sell them Bitcoin to change some altcoin, mm -hmm. different altcoin. But when the altcoin growing up, everyone just sell, it, especially in today, the bear, in the bear market, right? When the bear market is coming, everyone sell them a different altcoin because they have um, uh, well, tens, kind of thousands of different altcoins. When the market is growing up, everyone sell to change back to Bitcoin. This Bitcoin is limited and more consensus. Everyone all around the world know Bitcoin. But if you ask people, you know what kind of different altcoin, in different words, they know different altcoin. But only Bitcoin is a trust that everyone in the world. It is a, a totally international trust. So Bitcoin eating the blockchain. So in the bear market, Bitcoin price, uh, Bitcoin the totally the, the value will be 75% of the all the value in the 10,000 of the uh, 10,000 of the token. Bitcoin will be holding the 75%. Today they are the 40% because the, they're not growing up. But in the in the um, in the in the in the good market, the Bitcoin uh, will be low, you know, sometimes 25% of the old value. But in the bear market, it will be 75%. It's a long history. If you see history, it always that happened. The Bitcoin will be eating all of the, it's like a black hole in the galaxy, you know. Everything just jump, get in, and then again, get back. So everyone here, I think, hey, you have the same idea, want to have more Bitcoin, right? Everyone here want more Bitcoin. That's why everyone here. You 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 find your way to get more. You buy, or you do the ICO, or you trading, arbitraging, hedging fund, whatever you want to do, you just get more Bitcoin. That's what you come. What that's why you come here. You want to give your daughter more Bitcoin in the future. That's why you come here, right? All right, General. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate thank it. you, Thank you.